In this tutorial, you are going to learn how you can install and set up Vim on your Raspberry Pi operating system. So Vim is a little bit more advanced than the standard text editor you probably know, but in some situations it might be better. So installing Vim is really not that hard. And the thing is that here, for example, you have a desktop interface, but maybe in the future, you will have to connect to Raspberry Pis or any Linux system and you won't be able to get a desktop interface. You will just get a command line interface. If you just get a command line interface, well, Vim can be really useful. So you can have a powerful text editor inside the terminal. So let's install Vim. I'm going to open terminal. So we are going to do everything in the terminal, of course. And I'm going to do sudo apt install Vim. Okay, just like that. Okay, so you can press yes. Okay, and now Vim is installed. So to get started with Vim, you can just type Vim and you get inside the Vim editor. So here I'm not going to show you exactly all the, the commands, okay? So first you can see here if you want to exit, you do colon, Q and enter and you can exit Vim. That's the most important command to know when you begin. And then if you want a tutorial of how to use Vim, you can actually do Vim tutor like this, which is installed with Vim. And this, so this you can see is a tutorial of how to use Vim. Okay, so you can follow this. I'm going to exit it. You can follow this to learn the basic commands of Vim if you don't know them. Okay, and now that you have installed Vim, how can you configure it with different options and plugins and etc? Well, you can create what we call a vimsc file. So I'm going to create that file with Vim actually. So make sure you are in your home directory. So you can do this and then dot vimrc. So this is a file that starts with dot. Okay, so this is basically a hidden file. So I create it directly with Vim and I press enter and here you are going to write all the configuration you want. So this is a basic example configuration you can do. Okay, if you want to be able to copy and paste this, you can find the written version of that tutorial uh, in the description. So I'm going to put the link in the description. So you can see here if you add a quote, it's going to be a comment. Okay. And then you can have different options. For example, syntax enable. It's going to, well, enable the syntax with the colors and everything. And then here, this is useful. So instead of using tabs, it's going to use spaces, which is recommended when you program. And then set that one tab is four spaces. You can do, you can choose two or four usually. And then we have different other options. If you need help with a command, you can do colon help and then quote and let's say syntax. And you get the help for that command. OK, you can see a lot of information. OK, and to exit colon Q and you get back to this. To save this, you can do colon W. This is going to save the file and colon W Q is going to save and exit. Okay, so now if I do ls, well, you can see I have nothing. I have to do ls-a in order to be able to see all the hidden files and you can see the vimrc here. If I do vim.vimrc again, I can edit the file again. And so, well, you can use help with every command uh, you see here to get more details. But you can also find many information on the internet, okay, depending on what configuration you want to use. So you can just type vimrc on the internet, on Google, and you will find a lot of things. And then what you can do also, the next step is to add plugins. You can add Vim plugins, for example, if you want auto completion, or uh, if you want to add a tree, okay, because here we don't have a tree to navigate, okay, inside the file system. So you may want to add a navigation tree, auto completion and many other plugins. I'm going to quit this. And what you can do is to install first what we call Vundle, which is basically a plugin manager. So I'm going to install with this command. So basically git clone, okay, with Vundle. 
So this again, you can find the command, you can copy and paste from the written version of the tutorial in the description. Okay, and this is going to clone into homepy.vim bundle, etc. And then once you have installed Voldem, you go back to the Vim SE. And at the beginning, so I press I to insert and then space. Okay, and then I copy the text here. So you can add those lines here. So basically, this is the structure. So you can use Vandal. Okay, and you can see add your plugins below this line and before the following line. So all your plugins will be there. So here, nothing really to understand. This is just the code structure you have to write and, and that's it. Okay, and what you can do once you have written this and installed Vandal, you can just save and quit with colon WQ. Okay, and then go back to it again. And now you can install your plugins. You can see between those two comment line. And I'm going to add a plugin here. So to add a plugin, you simply, it's very simple now. You just put the name plugin and then the name of the plugin. So I'm going to show you just after where you can find actually this name uh, for this plugin. So this is a plugin for a navigation tree. So once you have put the plugin here, you just can do colon plugin install and you press enter and it's going to install and you can see down. So the plugin uh, here has been installed. Now you can quit and when so WQ and when you start, let's say Vim test, when you start a new file, now you will be able to use the plugins. So of course, how to use the plugin, you need to find out the documentation. And well, this is where you can find the complete documentation for many of the available plugins for Vim. So vimawesome.com. And you can see you have so many, so many plugins. And actually the plugins that I have just installed is that one here, the nerd tray. So let's click on this and see what we get here. So first you can see here, if you want to install it, you can place this in your Vim RC with Vandal, okay? Plugin, scroll loose here, nerd tree. And that is exactly, this is, so if I go back to my Vim RC, that is exactly what I have written here. So you have the instruction here. You can see if you use Vandal, if you use different plugin managers, you have different instructions. And then, well, you have the uh, documentation. So you can see, how you can actually, okay, you can see getting started, how you can actually open the tree, etc., etc. So you have many different plugins. Okay, for example, here a wrapper for Git. You have, for example, a code completion here for Vim. And well, you can find many different plugins. Great, so to conclude on Vim, first you install Vim. And then you create the file Vim RC. You can have many different options. And then you can install a plugin manager, for example, Vandal. And inside this plugin manager, then you can install any plugin you want. And now the good news is that, well, imagine you need to set up Vim on another computer or another Raspberry Pi. Well, you just need to do two things. First, install Vim with sudo apt install Vim and then create the vimrc and just copy and paste your entire vimrc and then that's going to work the same. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.